Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, I want to talk about how you can earn a free flight with my points faster than you can with your airline miles. I mean, with your, um, your airline card, your credit card. So before I get into that, I want to just show you some updates on my points because I realized a lot of you thought that earning, uh, the fastest way of earning points on my points was through surveys and that's not the case. When I first did a video in the group, I had 17,000 my points. As you can see, I've have five times that amount in just a couple of months. Now I have 85,000 my points as you can see right here in the right corner. Now, the way I did that is through shopping. As you can see, my favorites are Hilton is 12 points a dollar, uh, Macy's is eight points per dollar, Amazon is 10 points per dollar. These are my favorite stores that I shopped at, Amazon being my number one because I have Prime and I usually anything pretty much in all these stores you can find on Amazon. So the way you do that before was you click on Amazon, you would go to mypoints.com, Com. You would click on Amazon, click on earn points, and what it does is it takes you to to Amazon. So you're not, people thought that you're shopping on my points. You're not. It's just a click through. So now when I'm on Amazon and I shop, I'm going to get 10 points per dollar. That's the click through. But some people, they, you know, they were like, oh, I keep forgetting to go through my points to shop. So they have a new update. That new update is now a plugin, especially if you're shopping from the computer. So to install that plugin, I want to show you how to install that plugin. You come to more and you go down to download score when you click on download score it would be right here to say add extension to chrome i'm using the chrome browser right now but it would just say you know add extension now i've already installed it so you would just click here and what it does is it installs it installs it on your browser in the top right corner right there Look at right up here. This little top corner says my point score has access to this site. So what that means is this. Let's say I open up a new tab and I go to Macy's.com. If I went to Macy's.com when I have the plugin, it will automatically activate for me because I have the plugin. Give it a second. It's going to pop up and say you're now earning eight points per dollar. So right here, the little check mark comes up. If I hover over it or click on it, it says activated eight points per dollar. So when you have the plugin, it automatically activates it when you go to the websites or it'll pop up to say to activate it, you know, so now you don't have to go through mypoints.com. So the great thing about the plugin as well is that if there are any online coupons out there that you may not know about, it actually adds all of them up for you. Look at it, 67 coupons from Macy's alone. So when you go to check out, you can copy it from here, or when you go to check out, it actually say, oh, let's apply all the coupons. And whatever coupons that will work toward whatever you're purchasing, it will add it automatically for you. It's crazy, it's insane. And that's not just Macy's, it's all carriers. So if there's any online coupons that you may not know about, Go, using my points may benefit you because it is show you, hey, there's some coupons out there that can help you for this purchase. So you have the plugin that you want to add. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. The plugin you want to use is going to be, you go to more, go to download score, and it will be right here. Now it'll give you 100 points for just downloading the plugin as well. And you'll see that when you get to that. And if you are, and if you're taking my tricks to travel course, I've already updated the my points video for everybody that's taking the course. And this video will also be in the course as well. So you already know you get that perk. So other ways to so shop some other new things that they have. So that's for online so all stores if i click on all stores there's an array of different stores it's pretty much everything look for you do your taxes turbo tax you use turbo tax you get 1500 points just for using it they have so many different things all you have to do is click on all stores they have an array of different stores like my points has been around since 1996 and i've had it myself for almost a decade so if you click on shop there's some new things i want to go over they have in-store shopping now so if you click on in-store shopping these are for people like i don't like to shop online i like to go to in-store so when you want to go to in-store what you do is you add your your credit card that you're going to use you just add it here you're not shopping through you're just adding it right add that card and then you go down to whatever stores you're going to go to and you add the offer so that when you go to that store, if you use that card, you'll get my points. So I add, you know, the cards that I add, I'll add my, um, my Hilton American Express or my travel cards, my Delta card or whatever the case may be. So that I'm getting Delta miles for using it and I'm getting my points because I've registered it with my points. Go up to shop. Some new things they also have is dining deals. This one is, is, is crazy. So because it has my zip code here, it shows me all restaurants in my area. This is bananas. Look at this. If I scroll down, you add your card again. You would have to add your card that you're going to use at that restaurant. And then you just add the offer. Look at this. Caribbean goodness. My wife and I love Caribbean food. 
51 points per dollar? Are you kidding me? Uh, listen, I will, I'm going to go to Caribbean Goodness once a week and spend at least $100. That's 5,100 my points just for using it. And then not to mention, I'm going to use my American Express Surpass card, which gives me six points per dollar at the restaurant and get another six points per dollar. I'm going to double dip on it. I'm going to get six points per dollar for using my Hilton card. And I'm going to get, because I added my credit card, my Hilton a surpass card to this, I'm going to get also 51 points per dollar on my points. Bananas. It's, it's, I'm telling you, shopping is the number one way to do it. You have to change your mindset. Always shop through my points. Other things that they have, you click on shop, is they have in-store deals as well. So in-store deals, if you're shopping, you can add this to your list. If you buy Tide detergent, they'll give you 128 points. Look at this, a leave. If you buy a leave, they will give you 1,020 points just for buying a leave. You just add it to your shopping list and you go shop. So now that's the new things that they have. I went over also the um, the uh, download score, which is the plugin. And now let's show show you how to use these my points because everybody's like, well, what do you use it for? How's it travel related? You click on redeem points here. And they do have things, they have 83 different rewards. They have like AMC movie theater passes. They have a lot of restaurants. And of course they have airlines. So you can click on American Airlines. They have uh, Delta Airlines. They also have United. So I've clicked on Delta Airlines. Look at this. 15,880 points will give me 100, 100 um, Delta Airline dollars. 39700 250 dollars 79400 500 dollars so i have 85000 that i could redeem i can get 500 delta miles the thing about that though is this is that i have to use the delta miles the delta dollars with delta but that's not the one i actually recommend people use and the one i people i tell everybody using the one i use is scroll all the way down because they have a promo and I use it on Visa gift cards. So if I click on Visa gift cards, remember Visa gift cards is like cash. You can use it for anything you like. Look at this. 15,000 points is worth a $100 Visa gift card. They made it so it's, it's 880 points less than the $100 um, Delta dollars or the other airline cards, the other airline bucks. So why not use it for Visa and I can buy whatever airline I want. I could go on Amazon. I mean, I can go on Kayak or whatever the case may be and use this gift card because it's like cash. It's, it's like a regular credit card. So now that's going to bring me into how you can get a, a free flight faster using my points than you will with just using your, your airline credit cards to spend. So let's break it down. I brought up all, I have them all up here. So Delta Airlines, Delta Airlines, I have all the cards compared. So you have your gold, your platinum, and your reserve. All three cards, if you scroll down, right? All three cards only give you, besides supermarkets and restaurants or hotels for this card or using it at Delta itself, for the most part, they all give you one mile per dollar spent. One mile. Remember that. One mile per dollar spent on all of these cards for pretty much other than restaurants or the hotel or um, Delta itself. So pretty much on Amazon, Walmart, whatever the case may be, is for the most part is one mile per dollar. Remember that. Same thing with United. I click on United. If you go other than restaurants, hotel, and uh, United purchases, it is one mile per dollar. One mile per dollar, so max two. Same thing with American Airlines City Card. If you do, if you have the platinum, the Vantage mile up, or even executive card, scroll down. They give you two miles per dollar on like restaurants and gas stations or at the airline. But other than that, it is one mile per dollar for all of the purchases. One mile per dollar, right? Two is the max. Same thing with the uh, Barclays card. If you scroll down, Barclays card, two miles per dollar at the American Airlines. If not, it's one mile per dollar on all of the purchases. So Barclays is actually only gives you either extra miles if you use it at American. If not, it's one mile per dollar on everything, even restaurants. So that's that, right? One mile per dollar. Well, look at this. I brought, I created this little spreadsheet. I want to go over it. Let me delete these so I can show you again the value. So right now, my points, I chose Amazon because most people have Amazon. Most people use Prime. So typically Amazon is 10 points per dollar. Over the holidays, it was actually 20 points per dollar. But right now it's 10 points per dollar. Delta, United, AA, uh, Barclays, and JetBlue are all one mile per dollar. One mile per dollar if you use that credit card. So if you spend $1,000, let's say on Amazon, but you go through my points, you'll get 10,000 my points. But Delta, United, AA, and so forth, you only get 1,000 miles. 
thousand miles. So let's talk about how many miles it takes to go on a round trip tick, right? So right now my wife and I are trying to go for our um our anniversary. We're trying to go back to Aruba. We're trying to go to Aruba with our little baby girl. So I literally looked up the dates. My wife's birthday is the 26th and our anniversary is the 22nd. So I looked up the 22nd to the 26th for a quick little flight to Aruba and I'm gonna break it down for you. So Delta, Delta miles right now, look, it's right here. I'm not making this up. Delta miles right now is 59,000 miles per passenger and $90 and 55 cent and um, you know, taxes, right? 59,000 miles ago, round trip from the 22nd to the 26th to Aruba. From here, from the um, D um, DMV area to Aruba. So Delta is 60,000 miles. I looked up United. United right now is 43,500 miles and $85 in taxes, 84.95. So 43,500 miles for United. And then I also looked up American Airlines. So right now American is, is winning. I mean, uh, United is winning right now. I looked up American Airlines. Let me continue my session. It is 42,000 miles and 90 bucks. So $90.55. So 42,000 and 90 for American, for United is 43,000 and 85. And for, for Delta is 59,000 and 90 bucks. <laughs> Wow, Delta's high down here. But that's because the hub down here is also United, which is why they should have, let me go back to United, should be the better deal. So 43585 bucks, or, oh, it's actually cheaper with, with American, or 42090 bucks. So it's, yeah, give or take a thousand miles, uh, and uh, what's that, 10 bucks? No, a couple of bucks, like six, seven dollars. So that's the difference. So I'll either go with United, you know, or I'll go with American. I can use my miles to go to to uh, you know to Aruba, but why? Because miles come scarce. I wouldn't use it now. Here's why. I also went on kayak just to see what the price is. The price from the 22nd to the 26th is $498 round trip. On and it's a you know it's the cheapest one. One stop going and non stop back. One is on is going on American and coming back on uh, United. So they did a little mix fare there. It's under 500 bucks. So under 500 dollars I can buy it. So remember that $500 is to get to Aruba round trip for Shiva and I for our, our anniversary. Or we can use our miles. Now let's go back to my little spreadsheet here. To earn miles, so we need what? We said 50,000 miles. We said yeah, 50,000 miles on average. Well, uh, we'll just say round it up to 50,000 miles. If I needed 50,000 miles, I would have to spend $50,000. $50,000. To get 50,000 Delta miles, United miles, or AA miles to go on those round trip tickets, right? I think one of them was a little higher, 59,000. But we'll just go with 50,000. 50,000 miles would cost me $50,000 on these cards, one mile per dollar. This is why people get discouraged when they get the cards and they use those bonus miles and they're like, oh man, I'm not really earning miles too quickly. And I'm talking about the average people. If you own a business and you're spending buku bucks, that's not me. But if you're spending buku bucks i guess you know spending 50 grand just to get one round trip ticket is worth it to you it's not worth it to me so in my course tricks to travel course i teach and i know all of you that are taking my course you already know this i teach you the top seven ways to get airline airline miles and using the card is not number one it's actually number seven so but we'll get into that later so fifty thousand miles is 500,000 my points. So let's say I spent $50,000, right, at Amazon at 10 points per dollar. That's 500,000 my points. Now, of course, I can still have my, I'm not telling you not to have the credit cards. I can still have one of these airline cards connected to Amazon. I still have to pay for the merchandise. So if I spent $50,000 at, you know, let's say Amazon at 10 points per dollar, I'll get in my, and I use my Delta card, I'll get 50,000 Delta miles. So yes, that's going to give me the round trip ticket, but I have 500,000 my points. Well, what is that equal to? Every 15,000 miles is equal to $100 Visa gift card. Remember that. I told you that earlier. So let's just plug that in. Let's say I use, I have 500,000 my points. So 500,000 my points, let me put those zeros in there, hit enter, is equal to $3,333 in Visa gift cards. Are you kidding me? That alone is, guess what? Four round trip tickets. 
four, but almost four round trip tickets to Aruba as compared to me spending 50 grand to get one ticket at 50,000 miles. That's why you can get round trip tickets using my points faster than you can using your airline credit cards. I'm gonna, hopefully you saw that. I'm going to go ahead and delete these out because I'm going to show you. One more thing. 85,000 miles is about average which you would get right but let's just look at this 150,000 points because you remember you saw I had 85,000 points 150,000 points of my points what will that yield me put that in there my little trusty a thousand dollars a thousand dollars 150,000 my points will give me a thousand dollar visa gift card well that those round trip tickets right was only five hundred dollars four ninety eight that thousand dollars in Visa gift cards just bought my wife and I round trip tickets to Aruba, and that is my goal. I'm actually gonna, you know, I, I always show people by example. So I'm at eighty-five thousand points right now. Now I do have two hundred dollars in Visa gift cards already because I uh, I actually redeemed them, and I was like, you know what? I shouldn't redeem them. I'm gonna just wait. But I won't even count that. I'm gonna show you before. Uh, before April comes, I will have 150,000 points and I'm going to transfer it to get a thousand, a thousand visa gift card, a thousand dollars worth of visa gift cards. And I'm going to buy right on kayak, two round trip tickets, two, two round trip tickets for two people. Whereas with these, I would need 59. I would need 43 each, 43,000 miles each people. Or where is the American Airlines or 42,000 miles each? That's 84,000 miles for two people. Well, spending, how much do I need for 84,000 miles? $84,000 on those cards. And that's how you can earn more. You can earn your flight faster with my points. If you just listen and change your travel mindset, then you can even use in your airline cards. That is absurd. I'm not telling you to get rid of your airline cards because I too have them. You want those airline cards for the perks like the priority boarding and the free check bag. But I can tell you, you want to start using my points to shop people. You definitely want to start using it. So I do have a referral link. It is free to sign up. All you have to do is start working this system. This video will be here in the course. It'll be in the course. I'm updated in the course and will also be in our group. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you for watching my My Points versus Airline Credit Cards video that we have here. Uh, you can also check out our website at www.road100countries.com, as you see here. And when you go to our website, let me pull that up for you. When you go to our website, you have an array of things. That's my wife and I. This is us celebrating 100 countries. Uh, we do have a Learn the Tricks to Travel course that we have. Uh, you can click right here up top. So if you click on Tricks to Travel, it'll take you straight to our course page. The course is only $24.99. You do receive, it's 50% off right now. You receive 90-day access, and we have an array of different videos and topics. It's about 60 videos in total. We have everything from earning free stays at Hilton, Marriott, uh, getting free room upgrades, finding flight deals, uh, what are airline alliances. Every one of these items, if you click down below, you have different videos for each so we have step-by-step -step videos for every one of these different topics is a total of six, 60 videos in total you have 90 day access and it's only $24.99 again it's right is right on our website which is road to 100 countries.com let me go back to our website also on our website as you can see you can see all the places that uh, my wife and I have traveled to so if you scroll down there's 108 countries so far everything in red is what we've traveled to you can click on any one of these areas and what we have is we have a video so if i click on australia we have a video summary as well as pictures from every country we visited as you can see right there so just a array of different things we also have um information about us our road to 100 travel blog uh featured travelers we do feature couples family and solo travelers we have our tricks to travel course we also have our travel shop and then, of course, you have our contact us. So Travel Shop, here's some of our Rose 100 Country mer merchandise. As you can see here, Sheba has on her Travel Savage shirt. Uh, the prices are reasonable, and we do a lot of uh, discount rates as well that you'll see across the board. So thank you again for 
watching our My Points versus Airline Cards video, please subscribe down below. Thank you.